Hey guys, I'm the Burke and I do things and today I am going to use some new makeup. I never do this anymore so I'm excited to sit down with you guys and play with some new makeup. I told you guys that for Christmas my mom bought me a bunch of MAC stuff. Now she said it was like two collections of stuff that she bought I think on QVC and kind of just like combine them together. In honesty I haven't used that much MAC. MAC is just Ne it's never been one of those brands that I've bought a lot from. Now I've used Fix Plus, I've had some blushes, I had a really really bad eyeshadow palette once that I found at Marshalls. Um, I've had like lipsticks and their, oh, what is their gloss called? I have, I have it. What is it called? Ooh, what is their lip gloss called? I feel like digging through my lip glosses, but I have one, I have one of those. Like I have had some MAC, but I haven't had a lot of MAC. And I'm pretty sure I said that this little box she filled had about eight products in it and I thought it'd be fun to try them in a video. And we have a bold lift today, so that's that's a big deal. And then I was like, you know what? Let's just pull out a bunch of makeup I haven't used in a, in a long time. And uh, just do a new and old face of makeup because that's the most original idea on the internet. So <laughs> if you guys wanna just hear me chat for a while because that's what these videos have become, try on some newer MAC makeup, some older stuff. Yeah, that's about, that's the concept, <laughs> then keep on watching. Let's go. Also, if you're wondering about my shirt, it's a self love and has these hearts down the side. This is Brittany Balin's merch. She is, I'm not really sure what chat kind of channel she was before, if she's like a lifestyle channel, but when I got pregnant with Phoebe and started watching like pregnancy content, she had just had her baby. Her baby is about six months. Well, I guess toddler. her toddler is about six months older than Phoebe. So I've kind of been able to kind of follow in her footsteps throughout her pregnancy content and then into her like baby content, into her toddler content and like her new mom content. And she has a lot of really, really good content. And she made a parent and me clothing line. It's sweatshirts and sweatpants and it's actually like gender neutral. So it can be for moms, dads and whatever kind of kids you have. But this is the shirt. It's a sweatshirt. And then Phoebe has a little one that says my love on it. Um, hers doesn't have hearts on the side, just mine, but yeah, it's a really nice comfy shirt. We did not buy the sweatpants, we just got the shirts. And by we, I mean, this was my Christmas gift from Scott this year. He actually really likes Britney's channel too. Um, highly recommend it if, if you're pregnant, her pregnancy content's good. If you have a baby, her baby content's good. Her current toddler content, it's really good. It's probably, her channel is my most watched channel because she just, she keeps it so real. <laughs> she keeps it really real. And, uh, I appreciate the realness when it comes to parenting content because there's there's nothing easy about this stuff. So the set my mom gave me came with a primer and it's a matte primer. So I thought I'd put on a really, one of my older super, super dewy foundations today to see how they work together because I don't buy matte primers often, but especially in the summer, in the summertime, it's something I appreciate. And obviously it is not summer now. So we're gonna try it with like the dewiest of the dewy, see how it works out. But this is the MAC Studio Fix Matte Mattifying 12 Hour Shine Control Primer. I've actually never tried anything from the Studio Fix line either. So this will be my first. So I'm going to kind of focus this more on like the center parts of the face where maybe my makeup would break up the fastest because I don't really have issues around the perimeter, I would say, but Probably more so in this area and a little bit in the center of the forehead would be where I could use it. That was very, very thin and it dried super, super fast. All right, now I'm going to do my mix two concealers that don't work on my skin tone technique. So for the two light concealer, I'm going to go, that wasn't English. I'm going to go in with the Dose of Colors concealer in the shade three. I got this at Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, And then I have this L'Oreal True Match. Oh, what is it? Curl? eye cream and a concealer. I really don't like this one. I bought this one last year because it was really highly reviewed. It had really good reviews and I don't like it, but I want to see if I can use it for some spot concealing today because we've got some spots to conceal. I also haven't really given this um, dose of colors concealer much of a chance. I feel like because it's so light <laughs> that I just haven't been able to really give it a go. Oh God, I forgot. This is like very watery. So I'm just gonna kind of tap it where I want to blend it out eventually. Oh my goodness, it's so watery. But it actually is a pretty good shade for spot concealing if that, if it allows me to use it in that way. So put some on the outer edges. Oh my God, it's so liquidy. What a strange consistency. It's like water. It's literally like water, this L'Oreal concealer. I'm gonna lift it over my hands. I'm just gonna wipe it on my forehead. And I'm going to start blending it with my e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. I really want to get the e.l.f. Is it the like pl the putty blush brush? 
I heard such good things about it. It's on my like quote unquote wish list to get that brush. Um, I know it's super affordable. I just haven't really made a purchase for makeup anytime recently. I mean, it actually was pretty good for like a light coverage, easy spot conceal. Like I could see that almost using that, depending on how it dries down, it's like a tinted moisturizer. And I'm gonna blend under my eyes. This sponge is like, um, it's a real technique sponge, but I think it's called like their, their powder sponge. Cause it, it's like, it's more, um, I don't know what the word is. It's not as solid as the, uh, the orange sponge. It's a little bit. Okay. If you know the elf sponge, like the purple one, how it's like not very stiff, it has more of that consistency. It's more squishy. I guess the word is squishy. We're actually, we actually have plans today, which that doesn't happen too often, but one of our friends, so he's actually Scott's neighbor from childhood. He just got a puppy yesterday. So we're gonna take Phoebe to meet his puppy, which could go one of two ways, which could go really great or really terrible. So I have no idea, but Phoebe loves dogs. So this is the really, really dewy foundation. I have the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating. I have this in 230. I haven't worn this foundation in quite a while, but I do remember it being extremely, extremely dewy. So, and I'm hoping that the shade works. <laughs> I do have a bit of self tan on and I'm pretty sure I bought this originally in like a summery shade. So hopefully it works, but it is not one I've worn recently, but my most worn foundation for the last year basically has been the, um, the Fenty eavesdrop. So trying this one out now. And also I'm so surprised that Fenty announced, I mean the day before I'm filming this, that they're, they're, that they're going to be in Ulta. That, was not on my 2022 bingo card. I thought they were exclusively like set up through Sephora. I did not see that coming at all. Yeah, I think that shade is good. It definitely has more coverage than the eavesdrop. I haven't really been wearing such like full coverage lately, but uh, I'm into it. I like, I think it looks, I think it looks good. My lips are so dry, I need to put on lip balm. Look how close I am to using up this NARS one. Will it be in January's empties? I already have one lip balm in my January empties. So this will be exciting if I could add a second. I really like cream bronzer and I actually have used up two of my minis in the last month. So I've been really working on my physician's formula one. And I was like, well, do I have any others? I have the Tarte cream bronzer, but I really am not crazy about it. And then this is the other one I have that I can't remember what I think about it. This is the Catrice Triangle Artist Contour Stick. It's a contour stick, but it's warm. So it's a bronzer. <laughs> I can't remember what I think of this. So actually, I mean, it actually is kind of contoury shade. Let's see. It's been a while <laughs> since I've used this one. I don't think they make this anymore. I mean, I don't even know where, I think you can only get Catrice on their website now, right? So yeah, that's much more contoury than I thought. I wasn't really going for a cream contour, but <laughs> I thought it was more bronzery. That's okay. I feel like it almost blended away, but that's okay. I feel like I'm wearing so much makeup. Okay, we're okay. We'll be okay. Cream blush. The eyeshadow I'm using today is kind of like a neutrally cool more so than warm. So I picked out the color pop blush stick in the shade Hooked. There's a lot of product left in here. This was like my most used cream blush back in, uh, why is it not showing up? <laughs> back in, I wanna say 2019. I'm just gonna really draw it on like clownish right now and then blend it out. See how that looks. I think back when I was <laughs> wearing this shade, I didn't like very pigmented blushes because now I feel like I'm like really going in. Probably if I wasn't self tan, this shade would work a lot better. <laughs> Look how glowy I am. You would think I have a highlighter on, but it's just the foundation. I swear there's more Mac in this video. It's just that most of it is on the tail end of the makeup application process. Okay, I'm going to set under my eyes with the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. This week, we had our nugget delivered for Phoebe. The amount of people that have asked me what a nugget are is everyone, and I don't know how to explain it. You know what's so funny? I first really learned about it from Brittany Valen when she said that when her daughter started learning how to climb on the couch, she appreciated having the nugget like at the base of the couch in case she fell off because it was like a soft landing pad. And then I really started looking into it and it's it's like three pieces that can be a sofa, a chair. It just, it's supposed to like spark imagination and you can like quote unquote build with these three pieces. 
and make different structures and it's just supposed to ignite imagination but it's also so comfortable the amount of people including me who buy it just intending to use it themselves <laughs> well not just myself but like we definitely selfishly wanted it for us as well and uh so scott got it he ordered it it was like right after thanksgiving he ordered it and even back then it had like a 10 week shipping estimate because they were so um back ordered at that point and so we weren't expecting it to come until next month for my birthday and when it came middle of january we were super surprised and i've been enjoying it a lot i get to chill and lounge on it so for the rest of my face i'm going to use the covergirl vitalist healthy powder i have this in the shade classic ivory and i'm just going to kind of lightly set the rest of my face so that you know my face isn't transferring on everything all day and i'm going to use this bh cosmetics 124 brush also bh cos oh i didn't notice how much darker that was gonna be mm. that just like changed okay that is more pigmented than i remembered it being i should have used a fluffier brush okay <laughs> that was like darker than the cream blush oops um, what I was saying was BH Cosmetics filing for bankruptcy. Super sad, super sad. I mean, I just remember like, especially earlier on when I was collecting makeup, like it was one of those brands that was super affordable. I mean, you could always get it on sale too, which I'm sure is part of the reason. However, ColourPop, I feel like always goes on sale like a week after the collections launch. I hope that they're able to kind of get their business back in line. It's a little less, it's still tacky, but it's a little less tacky now. <laughs> I'm just laughing because this is, this is a lot more makeup than I've been wearing because I've been wearing the Fenty uh, skin tint so much lately. Okay, brow pencil. I remember not liking this. This is the Milani Stay Put Brow Sculpting Pencil. I have this in medium brown. There was something about it, like it was too pigmented, but then like it didn't last. I don't know how much is left in this. Oh, actually, there's only that much product left. Oh, I'm gonna have to pan this. Yeah, like I'm barely touching my skin right now and it's just like depositing so much color. It's very hard for me to shape my brows <laughs> with this product too. I also feel like now that I don't have any blonde in my hair anymore, a lot of my brow pencils from the other <laughs> hairstyle ago that was much blonder, they're just not the right shade and I'm just trying to like use them up but I know they don't look right. <laughs> yeah, I barely, barely touched my eyebrows and they're fully filled in. And then I'm going to use this CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow to set them. I have not used this in quite a while. This is just the clear one. I don't actually think I bought this one. I'm pretty sure this one like came like in a free sample bag from Ulta. It's one of my more preferred ones from the drugstore, but it's still not my favorite. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna bronze. This was a favorite, I'm pretty sure in 2020, the Revlon Skin Lights bronzer. I don't even know if they make this anymore. They did not have a lot of shades. I'm gonna go in with the same BH brush. But it's so funny because the the bronzer I've been like almost exclusively wearing has been the B, no, the Balm, the Balm Oliver bronzer, which is a matte bronzer. So I haven't been wearing Chloe bronzers. I love the way this looks on the skin, but Revlon just seems to be one of those companies that does not seem to understand that there are multiple skin tones. They just seem to like half the time forget about skin tones existing. So I'm not surprised that this kind of flurried away to nothing. Now we can get to MAC because I have a MAC eyeshadow palette. I've never tried one of their nine pan palettes before. This is a first for me. This one is called Amber Times Nine. I mean, it's definitely not like the most groundbreaking palette I've ever seen. I'm going to try a simple eye look with this one. And then I have two MAC eyeliners and I'll pick one out to use. So I'm going to start with this Glamier like brush that I got in a boxy charm. I'm gonna start with this shade in the corner. Something else we're doing today is last night I we have like a bunch of like silicone well one of them's like a popsicle <laughs> mold and one of them is for mini ice cubes. I actually made colored ice last night and I think I'm gonna make her a little colored ice sensory bin. It sounds super messy. Most sensory related projects are very messy so we'll see. We'll see how it goes, but some days I feel like when I set up no activities are the hardest days because I just, I feel like I'm trying to like think of ideas of how to entertain her on the spot. And when I set things up the night before, this is a Luxie 
231 brush. Sometimes it just makes life so much easier the next day. Just having pre-planned activities set up. She's not great with the independent play, so I if I, I find more often sometimes if I set up something, it kind of encourages her brain <laughs> to come up with ways to play independently. I feel like that isn't blending the greatest. I'm gonna go with this dark one. <sighs> go back in with this shade. I don't know, I just feel like these aren't blending together, these mattes. Wish there was a mirror. <laughs> I'm going to add my NYX glitter primer and then pick a shimmery shade, which these shimmers don't look that exciting, but we'll see, we'll see. Mm, let me swatch, Let's see which one I like. Probably the lightest one I'm gonna go with. And then I might go in with a little bit of this one in the center. Okay, not bad. Let me just brush away in case anything, in case I got any fallout. So I actually have two eyeliners here. I'm excited to try it. It's their Technicolor liner. I have the shades Graphic Black and Brown Border. I'm probably gonna go with the black, but I kind of want to see what they look like. I, I could use like a really good fresh liner that doesn't smudge. So I'm hoping they don't smudge. Ooh, it's a black. It's probably what I'm gonna use, but I'm interested in what the brown looks like. Ooh, that's a nice brown. Still gonna go with the black though, because I feel like this this eye look could go with black, so I'm just gonna tight line really quick. Going on really well, which the eyeliner I've been using lately from Smashbox, just, I feel like it's not going on very easily. Now I'm gonna go with an older, so to speak, liquid liner. This is the McQueen New York Waterproof Eyeliner. This was a favorite. I really used to like this one. Um, I haven't used it in a while. I've been using my Physician's Formula one so much since discovering it. This one I got on Yes Style. I think I got this one in 2020. Yeah, it has a really um, easy to use brush tip. So I've always kind of appreciated that about it. Wings, as usual, completely got out of control. Now I'm going to blush. I'm going in with this one from Maybelline. It's their Fit Me Blush in the shade Nude. It's kind of like a cool tone, neutral blush. I haven't used it in a while. Ooh, it's a little bit more pink than I've been wearing re recently. I think I'm gonna go over it with my, my bronzer brush a bit. And then I'm gonna highlight, I haven't been highlighting the most lately. I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay After Glow and Sin. Just add a tiny bit. Nothing I have right now in front of me has a mirror. I need to fix my eyeliner. Oh dear. I'm not gonna lie. I think I need a different blush. I feel like that one wasn't pigmented enough, so I'm gonna go grab like a blush palette where I have more options. <laughs> that was pretty good timing because my battery died. Um, I look so bad up close. Like my skin is peeling, like flaking away in a few places, like around my nose and all my chin and stuff, and it just looks horrendous. So I grabbed this Tarte Double Duty Beauty Palette, and I think I'm gonna go in with this shade right here called Learn. I think that will help. Ooh, I went in hard. Put it on and then I'll just kind of blend around. I think that, look at that. Made it look better. Okay, so the set did come with a, a mini Fix Plus. I actually have a couple backups of this mini, but I've been working on this Fix Plus for a while, so. Hopefully that, uh, helps with our issues, but I have the MAC Extended Play Giga Lash, which I've heard everyone loves for their lower lashes. I haven't had a lower lash mascara in a while, so I'm excited to try that. I'm gonna go with the Maybelline Sky High on my upper lashes first. I'm excited. This is one of those mascaras that, this was honestly out of the everything I got in this collection, like the thing I was like, oh, I've always wanted to try this. Okay, here we go. And the shade is, does it have a shade? I don't know, maybe it doesn't have a shade. But I definitely have not worn lower lash mascara in forever. It feels so weird putting mascara on my lower lashes. It's been so long since I've done it. I am so shiny. Oh, I hate it. See, like, I like a glow, but this is just like too much. I'm gonna try going over with all nighter and see if that makes a difference. We'll let that settle in and see if that helps 
tone it down a little without having to go with more powder. I'm gonna wipe off my lip gloss. I need my lip balm. <laughs> so the first thing I have here is the MAC Prep and Prime. I might have tried this before, I can't remember. This is probably what I would use instead of lip balm, honestly, something like this. That would make more sense. I should have just gone with this in the beginning. Anyway, I have a pink lip, so I'm gonna go in with a pink lip liner. This is the NYX Retractable Liner in the shade Nectar. I don't know if this is the right lip liner shade to go in with, but we'll see. Can't remember the last time I wore a pink lip. All right, this is the coolest color ever. So this is their Love Me Lipstick. I don't think I've tried this line before. And by I don't think, I, I know I didn't. The shade is called You're So Vain. Look at this packaging though, so cool. It smells delish. Oh, this makeup is not my comfort zone today. Oh, we are glowy. I don't know if that Urban Decay spray made a difference, but at least it's not like transferring, which is nice. All right, this is me with old makeup and new makeup. And I mean, I could do this tons more. I have so much unused makeup because I have this thing where I feel like I can't use makeup for the first time unless I'm filming it, so. That's a problem with my brain. So let me know if you liked this type of video because I can totally make more. Let me know what you think. Can I rock a pink lip? I definitely can't kiss Phoebe, that's for sure. Oh, and yeah, that is it for this video. As usual, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. Have my Twitter and my Instagram down below. Give them a follow and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.